Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to an Entrepreneur Revolt marketing tutorial or tips and tricks, whatever you're gonna call it. And today we're gonna be learning about Google Trends and why it's important. So it's gonna be a quick, awesome introduction. So first of all, we have this thing called Google and it's kind of cool, you know, it collects data and, you know, does all the awesome things. But for businesses, that data is pretty helpful. And we're gonna be looking at three key things when it comes to that data. Number one at the top, we're going to be looking at the trends and then we're also going to be looking at the market data so getting straight into the meat and stuff like that and then we're also going to be looking at how do you predict the using the google trends information because that's something any kind of business or marketing expert or whatever it is wants to learn when looking at google trends okay so let's get started with the basic thing that google really does and that's analyzing the trends and when it comes to trends, you can be having a couple of questions. Well, what is this going to do with? What is it going to help me with? Well, first of all, as you're scratching your head right now wondering, here, let me quickly help you light that bulb up, okay? Because Google Trends is going to help you with the following items, okay? First of all, you might wonder, what, what am I going to sell or what kind of business should I start in my passion? And that's what Google Trends can help you with also. So. Once again, as I told you, I'm going to help you light that bulb of yours. <laughs> okay, so let's take a quick look at the hoverboard example. So as you can see right here, I have hoverboard in my keywords. And then right down there, we're able to look at what was happening in the trends. And right here, I would have probably been able to have a good idea that later, it's probably going to spiral and go really, really crazy. Because a lot of people made crazy sales on January slash December for the hoverboard. Like, I mean, crazy amount of sales. <laughs> so this is kind of how you can learn what to sell or what kind of business to start now you also want to be careful and also look at the downfall right there because you're able to look at some key items okay analyze the charts understand them like for example right here you're able to look at when it's going up and what's gonna drop and then also know if it's worth investing or not because you can tell right here in the beginning it was worth investing but now it's really not okay now you found your product and you're probably very excited, right? You're so excited, like, yes, I know what to do, I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna do something awesome. Now, before you get too freaking detailed, let's first of all look at some market data, which is gonna help you understand how you should market your product or even more validation. Now, when it comes to market data, I like to get some few, two key items actually, regional interest and also related searches. Now, regional interest can be able to cover the whole entire continent from all the way to South America, all the way to China, United States, Africa, Australia, everywhere. And we're able to also see the darker the area of the map, the, sorry, the map, the more interest we have. Like for example, right here in the United States, I'll probably have sold my hoverboard or target my users in the United States, but not all the way there in China or Russia because we don't see a lot of interest. Okay, so this is kind of how you're able to look at the original interest and understand what's happening. Now, you're able to look at numbers from 100 all the way to 0, and that's how you're able to look at the interest. As you can see, it gets lower and lower as the numbers get, they dwindle down. By the way, you can also look at the cities, just a quick hint. Okay, now, the next part we're going to look at is related searches. Hmm, how are related searches going to help me in my business? Well, get ready for this. You can be able to see cool queries or search matches that are able to help you. Like, for example, you can upsell users with similar products they might be interested in, or even you can be able to kind of, I don't know, find new products to add in your category or your e-commerce store, anything. And the other key thing is search engine optimization. You can be able to find keywords right here on the right, and you can also see how they're ranked, which one you want to probably invest in more to get more searches. Isn't that pretty cool? Whew, this is getting really fire. Okay, so let's keep going. The next part is predicting. Yes, just where I need to release my fire because predictions are very, very important and Google Trends can help you with that. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to do this. Now, it's kind of like reading charts, okay? Because we see we have mostly charts over here and this is kind of what we can learn from the charts. Number one, supporting data from outside and then also looking at charts and understanding them and and then finally, 
looking at the actual ranks and interest. Okay, first of all, outside research is gonna help you. Like look at magazines, look at Google, look at anything that can help you because right here, we can see we're able to create a little buzz up, but it goes down and it kind of flatlines with a tiny push up. You don't want that. You don't really want that. You wanna look at somewhere around here, we're able to see a push up and then it creates even higher highs. That means this thing's about to go viral, it's about to go crazy. As you can see my arrow right there, it gets higher and higher. And then the final part is also looking at those rank interest numbers that we look at in the last slide. Now what's going to help you is looking from the numbers from 0 to 100 and you'll be able to know what to do. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching the video. My name is Steve Warrer and I'm from Entrepreneur Revolt. Make sure to give a like, subscribe, whatever it might be, comment section below and I hope you like this video and I'll see you guys later and I'm going to leave you guys with a quick smile. Okay and goodbye. <laughs> Woo! We did it.